Some movies should not be made into a sequel. There are some movies you just should just leave alone. The first one's okay. Like, don't do the sequel. The first one wasn't the best, but you know, you should, it's, it's okay. Um, Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the second one should not have been made. Never. And this is one of those movies that also have the same issue. Pet Cemetery 1 was okay. It wasn't the greatest movie, I gave it a D plus. Pet Cemetery 2 should not have been made. The movie should not have touched the earth. It should not seem like, like you've seen Deadpool 2, the end of the movie where Ryan Reynolds, I guess Deadpool shoots Ryan Reynolds and said like, we just saved the world from making one of the biggest mistakes ever, a Green Lantern, which is a movie I haven't seen yet. I'll probably do it one day. This movie should have been the same thing. The producer should have picked that paper up and said, nope. But instead, let's try to make a cash grab and get poor Clancy Brown in this movie and go get Edward Furlong from Terminator 2. And, um, I feel sorry for these guys. Let's go here and review that Cemetery 2. What's up, well, welcome to another episode of Movie Breakdowns. I'm your host, Ali Zaka. Now, what is Movie Breakdowns? A movie review series where we look at new and old movies, give them a grade, A through L, plus and minuses do count. And if there's a movie you want me to review, please let me know. I'll try to get to it as best I can. I'm working, I'm actually working on, this has been like, what, two years now? Working on Dead Man's Shoes is a movie review that somebody asked to review a long time ago. I am working on it. I finally got the movie, and I'm going to try and finish it. Um, so that's going to come out soon. And also, before I jump into the movie review, please tell a friend, please tell family members about this series. If you really enjoy it, you love listening to me talk about movies and rant and go off about movies or just give some movies some good reviews as they should deserve or movies that don't get good reviews, they should get good reviews and movies that get good reviews, they should get bad reviews, let me know. Um, please tell your friends, please tell your family. I really appreciate it. Don't let me know, but tell your friends, tell your family. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. And thank you guys for watching the series. I really appreciate that too. Yeah, no idea. Now, sadly, that review, sadly, that opener was to a very sucky movie, but Pet Cemetery 2, which, you see my Pet Cemetery 1 review, you know that I watched it on TV uh, at my mom's place a few weeks ago. And right after Pet Cemetery 1 in, I got the treat and joy of watching Pet Cemetery 2. And oh my gosh. The first one wasn't really that bad. The first one was just some bad writing and just the ignorance of the main character that he had no growth in the movie that really irked me. And the the puppets and the prop the props in the movie wasn't that good. And the things was going on where he was seeing green things. I didn't understand what's happening. And this one, it took that and decided to go straight south. Like this is a bad movie um, from the very beginning where. It opens up, it doesn't open up as a bad movie, it opens up as a pretty decent, like this movie could have some, has some promise. The wife dies, um, which they're about to separate, so Edward Furlong, he played Jeff, Jeff Matthews, and his mom dies in the movie. So, she dies at the beginning of the movie, she's an actress, she dies, she burns up, I believe her name is Renee Hollow. Let me double check that, yeah, Renee Hollow, she um, played by... Darlene Fugel, Darlene Fugel, oh, what's her name, right? She She's an actress. She gets electrocuted and dies at the beginning of the movie. So this caused Jeff to go live with his father, Chase Matthews, who is played by Anthony Edwards. They go live off in the town of Pet Cemetery. They're in that town. So Jeff's got to get used to a new school and everything. And all of a sudden, the school bully picks on him because Jeff has a cat in. He brought a cat to school. And the school bully decided to pick on him. So he's trying to run away from the bully. And the bully tells him about Pet Cemetery. You threw my, I threw your cat in Pet Cemetery and buried him. He'll come back as a zombie. Oh, the story, the lore, and everything's coming back. Um, for some reason, one of the bullies by the name of. Uh, Drew Gilbert, played by Jason McGuire. Drew sits there and like watches all this goes on. Doesn't stand up for Jeff as he gets picked on by the bullies, and goes and like help Jeff receive his cat, and then goes like, "Hey man, this is Pet Cemetery." So he tells him all about this stuff. You know, tell him about everything. Like this is what all the lore, this all goes on. 
Drew has a dog and his dog gets shot by his stepfather who is Clancy Brown who plays Gus Gilbert. He shoots his dog um, he shoots Drew's dog and Drew goes to bury his dog in Pet Cemetery. Uh, Drew dog comes back and I believe Drew dog kills kills Clancy Brown so Clancy um, gets buried by Drew and Jeff. Are you guys following this along? The, so the stepfather was bullying Drew and he gets killed by the dog. Because of this, they go bury him. The killer dog, by the way, who for some reason saves Drew, who saves Drew, they go bury, they go bury Clancy in Pet Cemetery. Clancy comes back as a zombie decker. Apparently, drive cars, talk, and just does all the fun things they want to do. So he's like chilling with everybody. He's cool. He's fun, having a good time with everybody until they see that he kills um, the bully. Drew sees that it, sees that Clancy kills the bully. So Clancy goes chase down Drew, chase him into his mom's car, kills them both, and leaves him to die. Okay, then you go put the bully in the grave and then revitalize the bully back for some reason. I don't know. But then for some reason he teams up with Jeff to bring back Jeff's mother. Which I'm like, why? 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 It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Why can a zombie talk? What's the zombie's motive of bringing back another zombie to help out the human, but he didn't try to kill a human? Why is this a thing? Who who wrote this? Who read this? Who let this become a thing? Why did poor Clancy Brown put himself into this? Mr. Krabs, you didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. <laughs> for y'all, for those y'all don't know, Clancy Brown voices Mr. Krabs. So I just want to point that out there. Um, yeah, it was ignorant. This movie's ignorant. Uh, and then. On top of that, so they bring back Jeff's mom because he want to bring his mom back, and for some reason the mom wants to kill Jeff and kill uh, Chase so they can be together. And Jeff's like, "Oh no, that's not my mom. She's trying to kill us. So we gotta get out of this room." And Chase, who gets knocked out during the final fight scene for some reason, he gets knocked out. And uh, then Wade says, like, no, man, it's not your mom. You got to keep going. Like, what? You couldn't move five, 15 seconds ago. Now you're running out the door? What the heck is going on here? This movie is bad. The music is god-awful. Like, if you listen to the music of this movie, you're like, most movies have music that fit the tone of what's going on. This movie's music was, like, trying to get, like, old uppity with, like, the, the, the things that was going on didn't make sense. Like, it was a, a rock song playing when, when... Clancy Brown chasing Drew and the mom and trying to run her over as a rock song playing or instead of like um like terror or terror menorizing a menacing themes it was more like rocking upbeat friendly 1990s music I'm like no bro this is this is horrible who let this be a thing who put this out here this is horrible I can't say anymore um poor Clancy and poor, poor Edward. They, they didn't belong to this. They deserve better. They deserve better. Is this a Friday night movie? No, don't watch this movie. Don't take your time. Just, if you want to watch a coat, you don't even want to have a coat class. If you just want to hurt yourself. You want to have a bad movie night? Go watch this movie. But do not put yourself through this movie. Um, grading time. This movie is going to get graded in F. It is a bad movie. It, it, like the stars in this movie couldn't save this movie. The acting was bad. Um, the reasons behind characters' motivation was horrible. It, it was just, it wasn't good. It was a bad movie. It was horrible. The music was bad. Why did, why did Clancy Brown get brought back to life? Why could he talk? Why did nobody else think anything weird with this? Nobody did not see he's covering up his scars. Nobody didn't see that the mom who sat there and slept with the dude did not see his scars covered up. Why is why was a scene where dude had a dream and then this dog was trying to like hunt the guy? 
why, why, why did I watch this movie? Why? Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> this movie is bad, guys. <laughs> Don't watch this movie. If you seen Pet, if you are an unlucky soul that seen Pet Cemetery, please let me know and, and please tell me what your thoughts was. Cause I like, said Pet Cemetery Two, not Pet Cemetery One. Pet Cemetery Two. If you're the unlucky soul that saw this movie, please tell me what your thoughts were. Please put in the comment section. I'm curious because this movie to me was not good at all, and um, yeah, I kind of regret watching this. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode of Movie Breakdowns. Please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. See you guys next time. I can't do it right now. I'm heading out. This is I, the last time I felt this way. It's like watching Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I just can't do this. I just can't do this. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend about my series. Tell a friend about Grind Towards the Set. Tell a friend about the Movie Breakdown series. If you really like these episodes, I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. It means so much. I, I can't tell you how much it means. Like it's, it's like I'll be really grateful you just told a friend and share and subscribe to the series. And thank you guys for watching this. Also, if you want to follow my journey outside of YouTube or Facebook, you can go to my Instagram page and you can follow me on my Instagram page at Ali underscore Zaka. It's right here. Put it right here in my face. That way you're like, where's his face at? Well, it's right behind the Instagram logo. <laughs> yeah, but you can follow me on my Instagram page. And also, if you want another episode of Grind Towards Success or Movie Breakdowns, you can watch the episode of Grind Towards Success right here. You can watch the last episode of Movie Breakdowns right there. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys next time. Keep being awesome.